No, I don't like that. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? I'm way too awkward to sit down and start a video, so we're just gonna jump right in. Basically today, Oh, I'm so awkward. I actually want to die. Um, I'm a motherfucking city girl. But today's video is a little get ready with me. I just got home from school, so I'm actually not getting ready for anything. But I had a shitty day. I mean, it wasn't even like anything specific made it shitty. It's just like the fact that I had to go to school today is shitty. So I'm not very happy right now. But a little full face of makeup is gonna fix that. I'm gonna attempt. Attempt being the key word. Like, I don't know if this is gonna turn out. But I've decided I am gonna be a rock star GF today and do a little like grungy smudged eyeshadow type look. I cannot do makeup for the life of me. This is not a tutorial. I should start off by saying that. I didn't wash my face this morning and I don't feel like doing skincare at 3 p.m. because it's just a very awkward time to be washing my face. So I'm gonna put primer on instead. This thing has fought in World War III actually. I don't know how it got so dirty because I've used it once in my life. I don't know if it works because it's like... Okay. I never know what to talk about when I'm doing my makeup, so I was like, let me ask you guys. Someone commented on my video the other day, and she was like, you're my favorite parasocial relationship. Social. Parasocial. And I was like, that's so funny, because it's actually the opposite way around. Anytime anyone comments, they're like, BFF, you know, this, that, I love your videos, we'd be friends in real life. We literally are best friends, like, I hope you know that. It's parasocial for me, too. So I was like, let me just ask my girls for some questions. Girls or boys, whatever. I low-key hope not a lot of boys watch my videos, because this channel is only for the girls and the gays. If I don't get to your question, my apologies. I cannot shut the fuck up, so I don't know how many questions I'm gonna be able to answer. One of the first questions I got is literally, I guarantee this man is a predator. Let me read this to you. This man is blocked, so he's never gonna see this. He said, a couple questions for you. Are you a pajamas person or a nothing person when you sleep or somewhere in between? Two, piercings slash tattoos, thoughts and or plans. Three, I recently found your channel and I love your style, your look, ew, and the way you present things. Also purchased from your Depop store. He's a G for that. Don't love the fact that this is probably a 50 year old man in his mom's basement, but I do appreciate the fact that he is giving money. Any chance, this is an insane thing to ask a 17 year old girl, holy shit. Any chance in the future, there might be a lingerie activewear or loungewear trying. Uh, ew, no, there's not gonna fucking be one. Are you insane? It's one thing to look amazing on the outside, but you've gotta be comfortable underneath as well. And I'd love to see your take. Ew, 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 ew. That was one of the first questions I got and I was like the fu uh, uh. Miss Jackson I was a little terrified I'm not gonna lie because I've watched one too many criminal minds episodes and if I ever had a stalker or like some guy like this found out where I lived like that is my biggest fear so that did scare me a little bit the only question I will answer from that is piercing slash tattoos because I want a belly button piercing so bad I want to run for so long but I'm so scared of like putting a literal needle in my belly button like I don't know it just ugh, it grosses me out but I know it would look so good I hope it would look so good I don't know for sure I've had like some people tell me it would look great and some people like mm, don't do that if you have a belly button piercing please comment down below tell me literally everything your experience if it hurt blah 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 what's your favorite type of cheese this is a really important question to me i'm so glad someone asked me this i'll tell you what cheese i hate cheese that spreads cream cheese blue cheese like get it out of my face i can't even like look at it so my favorite is probably just like a good block of cheddar cheese i used to eat that shit I'm gonna admit something vulnerable on the internet i used to literally eat it as a block like i used to like ah it like an apple first kiss question mark question mark uh shut the fuck up question mark question mark um sorry that was aggressive this is a sensitive topic for me i haven't even come close to kissing anyone like you know how people are like oh this is such and so like he wanted to get with me but like i said no there has been no circumstance in my lifetime in which I might have kissed anyone. No, never. Like 95% of all the interactions I've had with guys just make me want to like never get married, die alone, all the above. And I'd rather just wait a little bit. Maybe they get better in college, maybe they don't. I'm fucking praying they do. But I'd rather just wait to have my first kiss with someone with like a brain, you know, and like common sense and decency. And unfortunately, that's just something a lot of guys my age lack. So have you ever had a boyfriend? girlfriend or some sort of situation ship. I've yet to be in a relationship as you can probably infer. I've had like two 
The thing is, I view them as situationships, but it's very hard to gauge in like a talking stage, whatever the fuck you want to call it, like who cares more, you know what I mean? I think the label of like a situationship, a talking stage, this is that is the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. I get like what the talking stage is. Like obviously you're not going to meet someone and just immediately start dating, but I know people who have had talking stages last like over six months. At that point, like... There is no name for that. They just don't like you. I think labels like that are the dumbest things in the world and are completely made up to just like let people like fuck around and hurt each other's feelings without any like consequences because we were just in a situation. It was just a talking stage. Grow the fuck up, Jesus. Have you ever been in love? I have actually, yes. Genuinely, I am in love with Jacob Elordi and it's not even a joke. Top five fave TV shows and movies. I need Rex. My favorite show of all time is Community. Then probably New Girls at number two. It's a tie with Modern Family, honestly, because I those shows are my lifeline. Then probably Criminal Minds. I'm trying to think. Probably Criminal Minds. Even though it's like a very heavy show and like a lot of the shit that they, not a lot, literally all of the shit that they deal with is like insane. I feel like in a way, it's also kind of my comfort show and my obsession is like bad like I literally feel like I am actually a working professional at the federal fucking bureau of investigations okay one sec I'm really hot I should not have worn that thick sweatshirt to do this the sun is literally blinding me in my window okay we're changed much better that's four what's my fifth one I never remember the shows that I watch oh my god Brooklyn Nine-Nine I love Brooklyn Nine-Nine I am so in love with Andy Samberg like it's not even funny every person I show they're like he's so ugly what do you see in him no that is my man and guys, you don't understand. Top movie of all time is a Cinderella story, the one with Chad Michael Murray. There's nothing that brings me more joy than that movie. I loved Saltburn. That was like the craziest movie I've ever watched. Love Actually, that is my favorite movie of all time. Um, <laughs> Ugh. I also love Crazy Stupid Love. It has Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone and they're like a cute little couple and it's just so funny and so like feel good, happiness. And then probably Booksmart. I, I'm obsessed with that movie. What do you want to do after high school? Also, what are teens like in NYC and have you lived there your whole life? I have lived here my whole life. Teens in New York City are like, I promise you were not as interesting as you think. There's honestly not much of a difference between like New York City kids versus like kids who grew up in the suburbs, I don't think. Probably the biggest thing is just the fact that we have a zero school activities no football games no school dances besides senior prom pretty much no sports games in general i went to my first football game this year and it was so much fun like there's a marching band and like cheerleaders at halftime and i was like i feel like i'm literally in a high school coming of age film right now because this just does not happen in the city some city teenagers are like kind of insane like i do sit in class with people who like spent the weekend like scaling abandoned buildings and stuff and i'm like you are just doing a little too much but me personally my life is not very interesting fun things happen to me maybe like five times a month and then the rest of the time i'm kind of just like hanging out in my room doing nothing after high school i'm gonna join a content house no just kidding I'm going to college, hopefully. <laughs> Let's pray I get in. A few people did ask what like I want my future to look like, my future plans, all that. My dream job is being an actor. I love acting. I was a theater kid for a while. It's so much fun. It's like the one passion I've had like throughout my entire life. But I also realized recently like there was also not a lot of security in that job field. And like as amazing and incredible and like a dream come true it would be to like make it and be like a successful actress. I also want to have health insurance and like be able to to like pay for groceries and shit. That's like the debate I'm having with myself right now. But like in a dream world, I'm doing something acting, directing, filmmaking related. Would you rather live in the countryside if you could? I'm from a rural area and personally, I'd love to live in a city. I ask myself this question every day too. And anytime I do visit like family and stuff in the suburbs, I go a little insane. And after like a week, I'm like, I need to be in a walkable place. I need to be able to walk to the end of the block. But I feel like living in the countryside would just be so peaceful. And like, you can just be in nature nature every single day and like see animals that aren't like pigeons and squirrels and all the gross ones. I do see myself being like an old little lady in like a tiny house in the middle of nowhere and it's just me and like some cats and dogs and maybe some like horses and all I do every day is just like bake and read in the sun and hang out at my house. Best advice you have for self-confidence slash body image. I've struggled with this for my whole life and I think most girls have but honestly I'm in the best place I've ever been with self-confidence and body image and genuinely the reason why is because of like <laughs> it's because of the like fatty movement on tiktok 
I'm so serious. Like seeing people post about like eating a fuck ton and not eating, you know, fucking like lemon water every morning and like a slice of avocado toast. It's so refreshing because I've been able to realize from those videos that like eating is fun and eating should be celebrated. And at the end of the day, I've also realized that it's just not that serious. I was like losing sleep over how my body looks who the fuck cares? I've never once looked at another person and judged their body. That is an insane thing to do. And it's so much more of a reflection of like the person who's judging than the person who's being judged. Another thing that I think helps so much is just viewing your body as like your body instead of something that's supposed to look a certain way. Yes, it sounds corny, but this mindset works. I wouldn't be able to do any of the things that I love without my body. So why would I spend so much time hating the thing that literally gives me life? Like it is the reason I'm living and breathing right now. That's so stupid. And and so unfair and you waste so much time hating yourself you don't even realize how much time you've lost and if you just imagine yourself on your deathbed right that's kind of in intense but like when you're like taking your final breaths you're not gonna give a fuck about what your body looked like you're gonna reminisce on the love you had for other people and all the amazing experiences you've had and fun you've had and none of that has to do with the way your body looks i feel like now i'm just pretty neutral about the way that i look like when i look in the mirror now i don't really feel a certain type of way about how i look like i'm not too this, I'm not too that. I'm just like, this is what I look like and I might as well like how I look because there's nothing I can really do to change it. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put powder on. I have never used powder in my life before, but I got this as a free sample at Sephora. Sample? Why did I say it like that? Country boy, I love you. And I feel like I should use it because my makeup always gets so like oily after like literally five minutes. Like it just starts looking really bad. And I think powder is the thing you're supposed to use to stop that. I believe this is called baking your face. I have no idea if what I did is right. How long are you supposed to leave this here is the question. I don't know if this did anything, but we shall see. What's your biggest red flag? I have a lot. Like I don't think I would be a good person to be in a relationship with. I think my biggest red flag is I can't communicate anything at all. If someone does something Thing that upsets me and it's like not a super big thing it's like not worth having an entire conversation over but to me it is worth having an entire conversation over if you upset me like that you have to like waterboard that information out of me because i will not offer that up willingly but the problem is the anger that i feel just never really goes away i just kind of like bury it in the back of my head and it's still there but it's like i just i'm like shut up kate don't think about that so then if the same person does something that upsets me again i'm like twice as angry because I'm already angry about something else. And eventually I just kind of convinced myself in my head like, oh, this person actually does not care about me and this, this, that. That's probably the biggest one because it's not good. Like I wish I knew how to communicate my feelings effectively, but I don't. Oh, probably also I would want my future boyfriend to unfollow like every famous girl he follows. Like if he follows Kendall Jenner, I'm gonna throw up. You can't do that. I don't think that's like unreasonable because it's like if you're dating someone, why would you wanna like someone else's like bikini photos? That's a standard I'll be holding him to, but I will never be unfollowing Harry Styles, Jay Valorty, Ross Lynch, Never. Do you think being an influencer is a real job or are TikTokers just lying? Yeah, TikTokers are fucking lying. I think most influencers grew up like very wealthy, very well off, didn't really have to like work for anything in their life ever. And so because of that, their version of like work and jobs is just very different from like an average middle or lower class person. I'm like, no, it's not a fucking job to like film makeup tutorials all day. Your literal job is just talking to a camera. Like that's an insane thing to compare to like, I don't know, like a single mom working three jobs to like put food on the table. That's so different. If you look at like a nine to five job versus being an influencer, like the two, they literally just don't compare. Most disturbing criminal minds up and why? Thank you for asking me this because I will take any opportunity to talk about criminal minds. Obviously all the ones that Matthew Ray Goobler directs are like the most insane thing I've ever seen. The wildest one that I watched recently is this woman. Oh my God, nobody talks about it. And I think it's one of the most like insane episodes I've ever watched. It's called called Gabby. It's in season nine if you want to watch it. And it's about this aunt who takes her sister's kid for the week because the sister is going on a cruise. It's like a lottery she won and the vacation's non-refundable. And she's like, I'm so scared about leaving my daughter for a week. And the sister's like, it's fine. Don't worry. Everything's gonna be great. And so obviously because it's Criminal Minds, the little girl goes missing. And this aunt is like 
distraught. Wait, don't listen to me talk about this because I'm gonna spoil the entire episode. So like, if you wanna watch the episode, just like skip. Come to find out this aunt to get back at her sister for like, I don't even know what. She's just like jealous of her sister for some reason. She sells her child to this like underground adoption ring. And she leaves her sister's kid in the car to get thrown in a van with this family of like three or four other kids who have also been illegally adopted. That was probably the craziest one because I was not expecting the twist at all. Cringiest thing you've done slash said in the past year. I can't I'm so bad at thinking of like specific moments because genuinely everything I do every single day is cringe to me. I wish I had the mindset of like embarrassment isn't real and blah blah blah. Like yes it isn't real but also I literally cannot not like judge every single thing that I do. Like I'm just an embarrassing person and I need to humble myself for it. I had curtain bangs for a while this year. That was pretty rough. I did cut them myself and they looked... Do I even show you this? I'm gonna show you this and you have... That was how I walked around for like three months until they grew out. Yeah. <laughs> Truly the worst decision I've ever made and I had to live with the consequences for so long because they took so long to grow out. And what's crazy is I want bangs now and I know that it's just gonna end horribly because bangs never look as good as you think they will look. But I also do really want like a little like wispy bang, like a Suki Waterhouse cut. Fuck it, Liz monkey emoji <laughs> monkey covering eyes emoji thanks traveling is probably the biggest one i want to travel so bad i've never left the country and i want to see literally every place ever like i want to go to italy i want to go to spain i want to go to australia i want to go to ireland for paul mescal the farthest i've been is california and i love california so much that's like my dream place to live southern california is like i'll know i've made it if i have a house there with a little pool and like a cute little backyard once i have the money to travel y'all like i'm spending every dime favorite youtubers okay britney broski top Number one, that woman is my mother. Genuinely, everything she's ever said and done, I'm like, that is me, that is literally my twin. And like, I genuinely smile when I watch her. Nobody is funny like her. I also love Brooke Schofield so much. She does the canceled podcast with Tana Mojo, who I also love to death. I just think she's so funny and like honest and just, I don't know, I love her personality. And of course, I also love Tana Mojo because I watched her story times like they were literally the video version of the Bible in middle school. They genuinely shaped me as a person. That is all for the video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me take this off so I like complete the look. Ooh. Everyone who asked me questions, I love you with all my heart, except for the 50 year old man. Everyone else, love you to death. I said I was gonna do like a little rock star GF, like smudgy eyeliner look. This is kind of just everyday makeup. <laughs> Did not really do much here. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. See you. Ow! Oh my god, I just cracked my neck so hard. I literally just broke my neck. Okay, I'm gonna go before I like break a limb. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Love ya. <laughs>